The Health Ministry partners with World Health Organization to validate a national strategy document that will serve as guideline to actively coordinate directions and guidance in all interventions under the cancer control spectrum. The initiative is a strategic effort to reduce cancer morbidity and mortality and improve the quality of lives of those affected by the disease. The development of the policy document comes amid the high rate of deaths from cancer, limited knowledge among healthcare staff, and comprehensive policy guidelines in cancer prevention. According to officials, the policy document developed by Modo Sise in consultation with both national and international cancer groups comprising the Union for National Cancer Control and International Cancer Control Partnership. Keba S. Bojang, head of cancer control in the Gambia, stated that the validation of the strategic document will guide health practitioners to be on the same page on cancer control methods, noting that the aim is to ensure early cancer detection and care. As the body responsible for cancer control in the Gambia, we've seen it fitting that we should come up with a, a plan so that that will guide the activities, prevention and control in the Gambia. The program officer for non-communicable diseases in the Gambia, Mamadou Gassama, highlighted the dangers of non-communicable diseases, saying the condition constitutes 74% of the deaths. Gassama advised people to pay attention to the risk factors of cancers. This document is going to guide us. Guiding us means guiding the country with, with all the necessary evidence, because this is an evidence-based strategy. Best buys, you can be amazed, this document has been developed through a very rigorous process. So we've, we've brought all the sciences together, what we have collected locally and also externally that WHO has you know, developed for countries. The World Health Country Representative, Dr. A. Trune, congratulated the Minister of Health for achieving such an important milestone with a viable policy document, assuring officials of the organization's continuous support in the fight against non-communicable diseases in the country. The global cancer burden is influenced by different factors. For example, tobacco use, alcohol consumption, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity. These are all manageable. We can do something about them. Um, the other one is air pollution. These are risk factors for cancer and other non-communicable diseases that we develop as a result of that exposure. But all this, we can do something about it. And so prevention is possible for most of the cancers. The Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmadou Lamin Samate, expressed delight over the validation of the document, noting that the policy is not just a strategic document, but a roadmap outlining collective efforts towards a future where cancer is not a death sentence but a manageable and preventable condition. Today marks a significant milestone as we gather to validate and endorse a comprehensive national cancer strategy for the Gambia. This momentous occasion reflects our collective dedication to tackling one of the most formidable challenges facing our society, the fight against cancer. Cancer with its insidious reach and devastating impact has left an indelible mark on the lives of our fellow citizens. It knows no prejudice, affecting individuals across all walks of life, irrespective of age, gender, or socioeconomic status. Minister Samate added that cancer is beyond the health sector, urging collective efforts of all stakeholders in the implementation of the document. The government of His Excellency is committed to the management of cancer and all other diseases in this country. We have already started engagements with partners who have given early indications of wanting to support the establishment of an oncology center in this country. NCCP was established last year and tasked to oversee the prevention of cancer and cancer control in the country. According to statistics, Cancer is the leading cause of death among people in the world, with statistics showing that in 2020, Gambia registered 1,035 new cases of cancer and 810 deaths. Our money, GRT's News.